you probably know that trademarks can be things like words and stylized text and pictures, like logos, brand names, slogans. But you may not know that trademarks can be just about anything, including shapes, colors, sounds, videos, even smells. And I want to talk to you today about one of my favorite set of trademarks on shapes on Hershey's Kisses. Now, you may never have noticed this, or if you look at bags of Hershey's Kisses closely, you might see that they are marked as Hershey's Kisses brand. And when you pick up the candies, you can see that they have the little R in a circle symbol because they've got registered marks. Now, I bought a bag purely for research purposes. Um, it was much fuller when I bought it. I don't know what happened. So if you look closely, you'll see lots of kisses. You can see the distinctive shape. I'm sure you're familiar with it. They have a number of candies in them. I'm gonna grab some here. Why are these important from a trademark standpoint? Well, because Hershey's, the company, has registered multiple marks for the shape of the candy and the shape of the wrapped chocolate. And that means that other people, other companies can't make the same products or very similar products, candy or chocolates or things that are close to them in the same shape. Why does this matter, especially from a trademark standpoint? Starting around the fall, maybe late fall of 2018, I'm not certain exactly when, I'm not sure anybody knows exactly when, Hershey started to have production problems. They must have changed something about their manufacturing process because kisses, Hershey's Kisses, started coming out with slightly broken tips. I wrote about a blog post about this back in April of 2019 when this problem was about six or so months old and went through both the registrations and also the risk that it posed to Hershey's. And that risk is the risk of abandonment for non-use. Once you have a trademark registered, you have to continue to use it. If you stop using it, you can lose the rights to that mark, which might mean that somebody else can start using that mark. Now, in this case, because the mark is the shape of the candy or wrapped chocolate, it might mean that somebody else could start producing Hershey's Kisses shaped chocolates and other candies if Hershey's doesn't keep using it. Now, a year and a half ago, almost two years ago, when I wrote that post, it seemed like a far off prospect because it needs to be at least three years of non-use for your mark to go abandoned. At this point, we're actually only about eight or so months away, maybe nine or 10 months, from Hershey's having a serious challenge. But I wanna unwrap a couple of kisses. Now, if you notice here, I'm gonna hold it up. I'll put pictures up. You can see it's got the little R in a circle symbol alongside the, the word kiss. I'm unwrapping this live and on camera, and lo and behold, this one has a broken tip. Now it's a little hard to see. And if they get to three years, yep, see, another broken tip. If they get to three years of non-use and abandonment, then they may have to, they may lose their rights to the mark. Now, hopefully for Hershey's, that won't happen. For other chocolate makers, maybe they're hoping Hershey's can't fix the production problem. If you have questions about these or other non-traditional trademarks, please reach out to me. I'll provide links in the show notes to my blog posts about these types of non-traditional trademarks, non-text, non-logo trademarks, and I have plenty of examples in those. As always, thanks. Have a great day.